Hey there fitness fam, welcome back to my channel. Are you busting your butt in the gym, but not seeing the muscle gains you're working for? Listen, I get it, you're putting in the work, but the scale and the mirror just aren't budging. Well, stop throwing a pity party, because today, we're diving deep into the science of muscle growth to uncover the five methods that are going to force your body to build muscle. We're talking about proven techniques backed by real research, from classic progressive overload to the cutting edge of blood flow restriction training. We're gonna break it all down, step by step, so you can walk out of here with the knowledge you need to finally unlock your muscle building potential. So grab your water bottle, get ready to take some notes, and let's get started. All right, guys, let's kick things off with the cornerstone of muscle growth, the one you absolutely cannot ignore, progressive overload. Progressive overload is the simple but powerful principle of consistently challenging your muscles to do more over time. That means continuously increasing the demand you place on your muscles, forcing them to adapt and grow bigger and stronger. Now, this doesn't mean just slapping on more weight every single workout and risking injury. It's about being strategic and gradual. We're talking about increasing the weight you lift, the reps you perform, or the sets you complete little by little, week by week. Think of it like this. Your muscles are adaptable machines. When you challenge them with a heavier load or more work, they experience microscopic tears. These micro tears signal to your body that it needs to repair and rebuild the muscle fibers stronger than before to handle the increased demand. This process of repair and growth is what leads to those gains you're chasing. But if you keep hitting your muscles with the same weight, the same reps week after week, they'll adapt to that stress level and plateau. That's why progressive overload is so crucial. By constantly upping the ante, you keep your muscles guessing, you keep them working hard, and you keep those gains coming. A good rule of thumb is to aim for a 2.5 to 5% increase in weight or reps every two to four weeks. The key here is to listen to your body. Don't push yourself to the point of injury, but don't be afraid to challenge yourself either. Remember, consistency is key. Challenge yourself, be consistent, and watch those muscles grow. All right, guys, now let's dive into some next level muscle building techniques with method number two, blood flow restriction training, also known as BFR. So what exactly is BFR? In a nutshell, it involves partially restricting blood flow to your working muscles during exercise using specialized cuffs or bands. This restriction creates a unique environment in your muscles, a sort of metabolic pressure cooker that forces them to work harder and grow faster. When you restrict blood flow with BFR, you're essentially trapping blood in the muscles while you work out. This leads to a buildup of metabolic byproducts like lactic acid, which plays a crucial role in muscle growth. This buildup of lactic acid and other metabolites sends signals to your body to increase muscle protein synthesis, which is the process of building new muscle tissue. It also triggers the release of growth hormone and other anabolic hormones that further promote muscle growth. BFR also forces your muscles to recruit more muscle fibers, even when you're lifting lighter weights. This is because the restricted blood flow makes it harder for oxygen to reach your muscles, forcing them to work anaerobically. Now before you run out and slap on some tourniquets, it's crucial to use BFR safely and effectively. You want to aim for a significant reduction in blood flow, but not a complete cutoff. Think of it like a 7 out of 10 on a tightness scale. To incorporate BFR into your training, you'll need a set of BFR cuffs or bands. When using BFR, it's best to start with lighter weights, around 30 to 50% of your one rep max, and perform higher reps in the 10 to 15 rep range. Remember, BFR is a powerful tool, but it's important to use it safely and gradually increase the intensity over time. All right, guys, let's move on to method number three, and this one's all about outsmarting your body to keep those gains coming. Periodization. Periodization is all about strategically varying your training program over time to prevent plateaus and maximize muscle growth. It's like tricking your body into growing by constantly throwing new challenges at it. Instead of following the same workout routine week after week, periodization involves cycling through different phases of training, each with a specific focus and intensity level. This keeps your body guessing, prevents adaptation, and forces it to keep growing. Linear periodization alternates between high-intensity loading phases and lower-intensity unloading phases. During loading, you push hard, lifting heavy weights to stimulate muscle growth. Unloading phases allow recovery, repair, and prevent burnout. A typical cycle might involve three weeks of intense training followed by one week of lighter training. 
periodization ensures you continue to make progress by resetting your body's adaptive responses. All right, guys, let's amp things up with method number four, electrical muscle stimulation, or EMS for short. So what exactly is EMS? Basically, it involves using a device that sends electrical impulses to your muscles, causing them to contract. These contractions mimic the signals your brain sends during a workout, essentially forcing your muscles to work, even when you're not consciously controlling them. Now, before you think you can just slap on an EMS device and ditch the gym altogether, it's important to understand that EMS is not a replacement for traditional weight training. Instead, it's a powerful tool that can be used to supplement your workouts and enhance your results. One of the key benefits of EMS is its ability to activate a higher percentage of muscle fibers compared to voluntary contractions. When you lift weights, your nervous system typically only activates a certain percentage of muscle fibers in a given muscle. However, EMS can bypass this limitation, stimulating a larger number of fibers simultaneously. This deeper muscle activation can lead to greater muscle protein synthesis, resulting in enhanced muscle growth and strength gains. EMS is particularly effective at targeting those hard-to-reach muscle fibers that are often underutilized during traditional training. For example, you can use EMS to specifically target your glutes, calves, or even your abs, helping to improve muscle definition and overall physique. Another advantage of EMS is its potential to aid in recovery. After an intense workout, your muscles are often fatigued and sore. EMS can be used to deliver gentle muscle contractions that help to increase blood flow, reduce lactic acid buildup, and promote faster recovery. To use EMS, you'll typically apply electrodes to the specific muscle groups you want to target. Remember, EMS is not a magic bullet, but it can be a valuable tool when used correctly. All right, guys, let's wrap things up with method number five, the fuel that will take your muscle growth to the next level, protein pulse feeding. Protein pulse feeding involves spreading your protein intake evenly throughout the day. Our bodies can only synthesize a limited amount of muscle protein at a time. By consuming smaller, more frequent protein meals, you provide a steady stream of amino acids. Aim for 20 to 30 grams of protein every three to four hours. This could involve having a protein shake for breakfast, a chicken breast with brown rice for lunch, Greek yogurt with berries for a snack, and salmon with veggies for dinner. Spread your protein intake throughout the day rather than in one or two large meals. A post-workout protein shake or meal with 20 to 30 grams of protein is ideal. This maximizes muscle protein synthesis, optimizes recovery, and fuels consistent muscle growth. There you have it, folks. Five science-backed methods to force muscle growth. Remember, building muscle is a marathon, not a sprint. Consistency and patience are key. Combine these methods with a balanced diet, regular exercise, and enough rest, and you'll be well on your way to building strong, lean muscle and unleashing your inner beast. Now I want to hear from you. Which of these methods are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesome fitness content, and share this video with a friend who's ready to take their training to the next level. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.